Hi, I'm Jeff from Acoustic Design Works, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Diamond Layer Kit. And this kit is a good example of the opportunity to layer a panel or multiple panels on top of other panels to create depth, to create an interesting design look. What I'm going to show you is how we use the one sided impaling clips on the wall for the triangles, and then a double sided impaling clip to hold this 24 by 24 inch square on top of those triangles. Without further ado, I'm gonna show you how we get those triangles on the wall and then this square on top of those triangles. There we go. First things first, we're gonna decide where we want the, the design to be placed on the wall. So I'm gonna make some little marks here, and here, and here. Here. So we've got our eight prong impaling clip here. It is flat on one side. It has eight prongs on the other side that are semi-sharp, not sharp enough, sharp enough to cut you. You don't want to step on it, but it is just sharp enough to press into the back of an, a relatively soft but somewhat dense acoustic panel. As you see, it has a hole in the middle. That's where this, in our case, a drywall screw is going to go through the front and into the back so that the prongs stick out from the wall and then the panel is going to be able to press onto those prongs. By the way, when we ship the impaling clips, they're going to be pressed into a piece of fiberglass like this for safety basically so they're not rolling around in the box poking things. Keep an eye out for this. This is the important mounting hardware you don't want to throw out. So I'm going to use a drywall screw. We don't include screws with the, with the uh, hardware because we don't know if you have you know wood or masonry or brick or drywall so you're gonna have to figure out which screw is gonna be best for you we, but we do include the impaling clips so in our case I'm gonna use this drywall screw and because it's drywall I'm gonna be able to press it and push it through with just the strength of my arm and hand and a screwdriver so what I'm gonna do is I found I got my spot here where I marked I'm not pressing too hard, I'm letting it pull itself in with the, with the threads of the screw. Okay, so I have screwed in the three impaling clips for this triangle. They're going to press into the back of this, and that's really just the next step to put these on. So I'm going to kind of make sure that these are in the right spots, and then lined up nicely. And then I'm just going to press, press that on. Now it's nice and solid, it's not going anywhere. So if I do need to adjust that, I can always kind of work my fingers underneath, behind the panel, pull it off gently. No, no harm done to the back of the panel. It can take a couple of readjustments or as many really as you need. All right, so I've got three more impaling clips over here for the triangle, the corresponding triangle. I'm gonna line this up so it looks good, make sure it's lined up there, and generally equidistant here and here. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. I think this one could go this way a little bit, so I'm going to pull this one and readjust. About five, and about five there. So that's pretty good. All right, we got the triangles up and placed exactly where we want them. Now the final step is to get the square placed where we want it on top of the triangles to complete the nice diamond theme look. So these are the double-sided impaling clips that you're going to get with the kit, whether it's the diamond layer kit or whatever other kit that is going to be employing these or maybe your custom design where you're going to have layered panels. So the double-sided impaling clip is about four inches across. It's got eight prongs on one side and eight prongs on the other side. So you're going to press one side of the impaling clip right into the front facing side of the triangle. It's going to be a little, little tougher because there is the acoustic fabric on this side, but you can just go ahead and press it on through. There you go. Now we've got four of the double sided impaling clips in, eight prongs going in. A prong sticking out. Final step is to add the top layer of the kit, which in this case is a two foot by two foot square. 
little easier because you can look and see is this point in between these two points? Is this point lined up with this point? This point over here and this one up right in the middle there. If it looks good, it's time to press it on. So there you have it. This is the diamond layer acoustic panel kit. And that was also a good example of how to use double-sided impaling clips for kits that are layered like this, where it's a panel against the wall and then another panel on top. If you have any questions, feel free to call or email us. We are happy to create any custom size or shape panels. And if you're interested in layering up uh, kits like this or layering up some custom looks, that can always be great. Um, we can make different shapes and sizes and layer them on top for kind of an interesting design in your office or home or wherever, basically. So give us a ring, give us an email. We'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching. Thank you.